Hello community and welcome to another meditation here that I'm really happy to share with you. It has uh, come to my understanding that it may be beneficial for all of us to do a meditation that allows us to focus on what we can control right here and now. And so what comes to mind for me is um, breathing techniques, concentration on the breath, beginning to rein in the mind as it can pull us in many different directions and with everything on the news, family, friends, coworkers, opinions swirling around us constantly in this time. I think it's really important for us to come back to center. I know for me, the laboratory of my cushion, as I like to think of it, has been a place for me to come back to center and and feel a bit more grounded during these turbulent times and all the things that are surrounding us and coming into our energetic fields. So I'm thinking we can do some sort of concentration meditation, counting with the breath, or there's such things as pebble meditations that maybe you've heard of. I don't typically use a pebble, I use a Palo Santo stick um, when I'm doing concentration focused meditations. Um, there's also, you know, concentration, just concentrating on a mantra or chanting. So there's all different ways to start to train the mind for concentration, to train the mind to be present in one moment. And today, we might move through a few different things, but I want to keep this meditation short, something that maybe you can use throughout the day um, as a mini meditation, a mini focus. So let's close our eyes, get into whatever position it is that you find comfortable for meditation. And with your eyes closed, take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. And do that again, deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and let it go. And continue doing that breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, allowing the jaw to relax. Allowing the shoulders to drop. And the arms to hang heavy in your lap or on the floor. Breathing in deeply through the nose and out through the mouth. Allowing the entire body to relax and sink and settle and ground down in this moment. Letting go of all outside distractions. Knowing that finding this moment here with yourself in a relaxed state is going to be so much more helpful to you throughout the day. than if you were to run around in circles and, and be consumed by outside distractions. Having this moment here in a relaxed state is so much more helpful to yourself and those around you. Taking a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth, allowing yourself to relax all tension from the head all the way down the body through the toes. Breathing naturally now. In through the nose and out through the nose, not trying to control the breath. but instead 
without judgment or stories, simply observing the sensation of your breath as it flows in through the nose and out through the nose. In through the nose, out through the nose. Resting in this place of stillness for a moment. Now choose a point where the breath manifests in your body. It can be on the upper lip, the tip of your nose, down through your throat, or maybe in your chest or in your belly. Choose a focus point. And once you have that focus point, Begin to observe the simple sensations of your inflow and your outflow of breath. Without attaching any stories or emotions to the sensation of breath. And instead, just being the non judgmental observer of your breath as it manifests in either the upper lip, the tip of your nose, through your nostrils, or your throat, chest or belly. And if outside thoughts, to-do lists, opinions, fear, anxiety, or stress cloud the mind, as they will do, once you notice they have clouded the mind, you are awake, come back to your breath. Come back to observing, non-judgmental observing of the breath and the sensations that it occur occurs as you breathe in and out, in and out. Maybe you're observing the coolness or the warmth of your breath or the tingling sensations of the breath. Maybe you can observe the sound of your breath Or the feeling of breathing in and out, expansion and contraction. Just simply being that non judgmental observer of the breath, of your natural breath, just as it is, without control.
simply allowing yourself to be still in this natural state of non-straining simple breathing non-judgmental awareness And as outside thoughts begin to pull you away, as they will do, come back to your point of observing the breath. Using this point as an anchor an anchor of non-judgmental awareness. Not attaching stories to your breath or judgments to how you're breathing. Letting go of the need to control the breath as it should be this way or that way, and instead just being here with it naturally, as it is. And take a deep breath now in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Letting go of this element of non-judgmental awareness. Taking another deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Now let these last few moments of your practice be a place of peace, giving yourself a prayer or someone you love, sending them a prayer, sending the world a prayer, just taking these last few moments to send out the good energy that you've cultivated in this meditation. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the nose, and when you're ready, open your eyes. So I hope that you guys enjoy this meditation can see how you can bring it in to little snippets of your life. You can do this meditation while, you know, sitting in your car. Um, if you are in a grocery line, you can practice this meditation. If you are starting to feel ungrounded or out of control or scared or fearful, you can come back to using this tool, this natural tool that we have, the breath, to practice and begin cultivating this way of being in the world through a non-judgmental 
perspective. So for me, the, the cushion meditation is really a laboratory, a place where I can start cultivating non-judgmental awareness, reflective thinking, um, concentration, stillness, um, tapping into maybe emotions that I want to bring out in the world more or emotions that I want to heal. So meditation, meditations like this, this simple meditation, are really a time and place for you to practice. And this one that we just did is really a time and place for you to begin practicing seeing the world through a different filter, a non-judgmental filter. Because a lot of times our stories, our judgments, they get in the way of truly seeing what is and what could be. So I urge you guys to continue using this practice. If you found it helpful, I want to do more meditations. If there is something new that you learned from this meditation, if there is um, something profound that you want to share with the community, please feel free to do so in the comments below this video. I am going to be posting it in our Raising Wellness community on Facebook and also in the Raising Wellness YouTube page. So wherever you are joining in from, I'm so happy that you're here and you are taking this incredible slowing down of our society to tune in, grow deeper, so that we can come out of this stronger and more in alignment. So I'm sending you guys so much love. Can't wait to see what you write down in the comments below, what your experience is. The more you share with me, the better I can start to tailor the meditations to what this community is voicing. Um, so I'll see you guys next time.